Today we're going to take a look at how to put together the baby kimono. So we'll start by getting our kit. Um, if you've got our pattern, you've already cut these pieces out. So let's take it, uh, let's open up our kit and see what all I've got. All right, I've got a lot of different pieces here. Um, in your pattern, you will have had a page that you can print out all these little labels. So I am going to take these labels and pin them to these pieces. So here's my two mittens. We'll pin that on there. Set it aside. Foot cover, that's the little panel that goes across the front to keep the feet warm. So I'll put that off to the side. And then this, in this kit, um, looks like this, great big piece. That is the back, down back, pin that on there. And then I've got two fronts. Now in my case, there's a definite right side, wrong side, so it's easy to determine, but you may find that you'll get a kit sometime where it's hard to tell. So um, right front would be the baby's right side, so not your right side, the person wearing it. Pin that on there. I just had a light go out. Sorry about that. <laughs> I don't know how much that's gonna show in the video. Okay, this will be the left front. And then all those strings you saw, that's called the knit edging strips. Uh, your instructions tell you what, what uh, size to cut those. All right, so I'm gonna set those off to the side because I'll use those in a little bit. What I'm gonna do now is get started. Um, let's see. First step is to sew the mittens to the gown back. So I can set the right front and left front aside. Grab my gown back. Now the mittens, and your instructions will tell you this, when you, when the baby's wearing them, they'll be um, to the front like that, okay? So that means to sew them, we have to attach them like so. Now this one, we're making use of the bottom part of a shirt. I've got a little problem here I'll have to manage, but um, I'm gonna stretch this so it fits all the way across. Now, we are gonna sew very close to the edge, maybe about an eighth of an inch, down the edge, across, and up the other side on both mittens. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me turn my machine on. And I'm gonna dial, in this case, I'm gonna dial a straight stitch. So on this machine, that's right here. And I'm going to have, you won't be able to see this, but I'm going to have a long running stitch because this is not structural. This is just holding it in place for me. Okay. Here we go. If you are planning to use a serger for this project, I would not use a serger for this step because your serger seam allowance is going to, when you come back to do the actual construction, you're gonna be sewing on top of the same seam allowance, so it's just gonna be really, really bulky. So yeah, this will be a little interesting here, but. And I don't have to backstitch or anything because this is just to hold it in place so I don't have to worry about whether I've got it in the right spot later on. I'll do the other one and then we'll meet back here.